now going to start to make some fun things for your body and putting on your skin to help you look better, feel better, add those oils right into your body. If you're using skincare products that have chemicals in them, you're putting that stuff right into your bloodstream. So take a look at your skincare products. If you're using things that have alcohols and fragrances and binders, and there's just a lot of chemicals that are in traditional skincare products, you might want to rethink what you're putting on your skin because everything you put on your skin goes in your body. If you're not sure, there's a great resource that you can look at the skincare products you're using and kind of get an idea of how good or bad they are. It's the environmentalworkinggroup.org website and they have a database called Skin Deep. You can go there, type in your product name and search it and it'll tell you what information it has on it and give it a rating as to how clean it is. But whether you buy something in the store or you make it at home, there's no question that when you use something that has a few simple ingredients that you have in your kitchen, you're going to get a really clean product. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to make a lotion that just has basically three ingredients, oil, wax, and essential oils. And then we'll add water to it, of course. So the reason that you would wanna go this route is so that you can make this at home anytime you want. You can change the essential oils. You can even add other little carrier oils to it to enhance the product. And we're gonna do the most basic recipe that you have listed in your notes today. Um, but remember, this is just the basic format of it. The recipe can change with more oil, more wax, depending on how thick or thin you want it. You can use different kinds of base oils, and of course, obviously, any kind of essential oil that uh, suits your needs or that you, that you like. So I'm gonna start today with uh, just a small amount of coconut oil. So that is just pure melted coconut oil. It's hot here today in Southern California, and especially here in the kitchen with the lights on, so it's already melted. But normally, coconut oil will be solid at room temperature or 75 degrees and under, it's solid. So you're gonna have to melt it if it's cold. And if not, then it'll be just like this. So we're doing about a half a cup. And then to that, I'm gonna also add about a half a cup of this wax. So you see this wax and it's white. It's obviously not beeswax. Beeswax is usually yellow. And beeswax does not work well for making lotion. It doesn't uh, keep it emulsified, which is binded and blended. When you make it with a beeswax, the oil and water will separate just like salad dressing and you'll have two halves. So you need to have this special kind of wax. It's called plant-based emulsifying wax. And you can find it from online resources. You could probably go to Amazon, but find it online, just order it online. It doesn't take a lot of wax to make uh, some lotion. So we're just gonna combine those two and then I'm gonna take it to the stove and melt it so everything is slowly melted on a low temperature. The wax is completely melted and you'll see what that looks like in just a second. But here it is before and now I'm gonna melt it and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we're back and now all of the wax has melted. You can see it just looks like a clear liquid now and we're ready to go on to the second stage which is adding the water and then um, our oil. So before we add the water, there's gonna be something that happens really fast, which it gets thick. And so before we do that, that's when I like to add the essential oils. But I don't do it before I heat it because essential oils are very delicate. You don't wanna expose them to too much heat, really any heat. And so the little the better. And so we're just gonna put it in last and then right away add the cold oil. So I'm gonna do today um, lavender and geranium essential oils. These are both great for healing the skin. They're both great for anti-aging and preventing your skin from having too much uh, wrinkles in it and hopefully help us to stay looking young and nice. So here I'm gonna do about five drops of each. And remember, essential oils actually work as a preservative when you're making lotion. So if you were to do this without, it wouldn't last very long. In fact, it would get moldy and you'd have to keep it in the refrigerator. But because we do it with essential oils, they're naturally uh, preventing bacteria from growing and they preserve the product. So, oh, this smells so good. I wish you could smell this. Hopefully you're following along at home. Break out your oils, follow the recipe. You have the notes in your download section. Just go down there and print it out or just look at it on your phone and then uh, get these ingredients out. They're really simple to do. So now we have a, one kind of magic thing that we have to use and that is a hand mixer. So that's this little thing right here. And it's just like a blender, but in a hand stick. You can see this thing is old. I've had it forever. Uh, this shows you how long I've been making this, this stuff. 
I have I've used this oil. I made my own creams and lotions when uh, I had babies in my belly, and it was great for preventing stretch marks and all that. So you can see what's happening as I add the cold water to the hot oil. There's an emulsification happening. The oils are getting solid and thick, and it happens just like that. So we're gonna take let that go in, and then I'm gonna turn on my blender and mix it up. So we blended this all up and you can see it's really thick and creamy. It looks like, I don't know, whipped cream, although I probably wouldn't want to eat it if I was you. Wouldn't hurt you because it's just essential oils and oil in there. By the way, I used coconut oil in here, but you can use any base oil you want. So olive oil, avocado oil, any vegetable, but make it a good quality oil because you're putting it on your skin. And um, it will change the texture. Every oil has a little bit of a different consistency and also different properties. So it doesn't have to be coconut. And then we're just putting it in the jar. I like these little jars that have the flip cap, but it doesn't really matter. Anything that you have will work. And cap it up. Oh, it smells really good. You're gonna love how this feels. In fact, I'm gonna try it out. Ooh, yeah. This is really good. If you have dry skin at all, you're gonna love this for your hands for your feet. Also really good for um, pregnant bellies. Put a little bit extra cocoa butter maybe in there. And uh, for babies, you can use it for babies too, just less essential oils. So lots of variations to play with from this recipe. Make sure that you label, like always, put a label because once you have this done, it does not need to be refrigerated, but I guarantee you if you put this in the refrigerator, somebody's gonna think it's food. So put a label on it and then uh, use it for yourself or give it to someone else in a nice day.